today's video. It is a bit of a different video for me. Um, I normally vlog my family's life, but I absolutely love going thrifting and I just happen to have a lot of success recently. So I went to three different thrift stores, no, four different thrift stores. And I was looking for a couple of things, but I just happened to find like so many good pieces. And it's really hard when you're thrifting because you know you can't just go back and get it in the future because somebody else might take it and it's the only one that there is at the store. So you just have to buy it, um, which can kind of be problematic <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> So something that I really like to think about while I'm thrifting is fabric content. So as I've gotten older, I've started to get a little more picky <laughs> about the clothes that I wear. So I really only tried to buy 100% cotton or linen or silk, um, just good quality fabric pieces um, because I just find that they're a lot more comfortable and that they like withhold well no that is not the right word they wear well they last a long time um they don't get like scraggly in the wash or um yeah they're just a lot more resilient and so i've gotten pretty good at being able to quickly identify good quality fabric because in the thrift store there's just so much stuff that it's like kind of overwhelming to just kind of sift through everything to find the good stuff, but I think I'm pretty good at it. Um, so let's start with the haul. Uh, one of the first things I found is this basic white tank top, which is just a good basic piece to have in your wardrobe. And it is Everlane, which I am familiar with Everlane because I'm looking at buying a pair of their jeans and their jeans are $88. So I can only imagine that this is not very cheap. Um, and I got it for like, I think it was a dollar because the purple tags were on sale. So that's another thing to keep in mind is like looking for good quality brands. Um, I don't like limit myself to that, but I definitely keep my eye out for like good quality brands. The next thing I got was this black tank top which is really cool. It's kind of got like a, this texture, like a, um, not a waffle texture, but like a crinkle texture. And um, it looks really cute with high-waisted jean shorts. It has no tags on it whatsoever. So I didn't know the fabric content or the brand or anything, but by feeling it, I can tell I'm very sure it's um, like, at least 95% cotton with um, some spandex because it's got a bit of stretch to it. And then the next shirt is silk, um, which silk is kind of one of the more rare uh, fabrics to find. So I, yeah, I always feel pretty happy when I do manage to find one. And it's just so sweet. It's this lovely cream color. It does have shoulder pads, which I mean, Maybe they're coming back in, I'm not sure, but they're not really my thing. So I'm probably just gonna cut those out, which they're just attached by a couple little strings so I can easily remove those. Um, yeah, 100% silk. So I was really happy to find that. And then uh, this, I guess like sage green tank top, which is kind of more of a crop top. So I'll probably only really use it for exercising um because yeah i'm i'm not young and hip like that <laughs> um but it was really cute and i really liked it and it could be a nice layering piece um and i think it was only a dollar so i went ahead and got it and then i love this one um i just think this is so cool. I could tell that this was really good quality as soon as I saw it. And um, it's linen. I don't remember the exact. Okay, 55% linen and 45% cotton. So I basically couldn't not buy this. Um, 
I was unsure of how this was going to look on me. I didn't know if it would be flattering or if it would just kind of look frumpy with these wide sleeves and I didn't know if the box neckline was going to work for me, but I actually really love it. I think this might be my favorite thing that I found overall. And this is Mac Studio, which I know that sounds familiar, but I can't think like what brand that is. Um, but yeah, love, love, love this one. The next one is this, um, another white tank top, but with a blue embroidery detail. And when you look at this, you can kind of tell that it's older. Um, it's 100% cotton again, but I kind of like clothes that are older because they're normally like thicker and you can just feel that they're better quality. Um, yeah, so it's just a basic tank top, but I, I really liked it and I liked that it was a bit different with the embroidery. Um, something a little fun for me. I'm kind of starting to really like yellow. And so I found this uh, yellow tank top, which it's, I think an active wear, Liz wear. Um, but I mean, it's a hundred percent cotton. It looks like just a tank top. So I'm very, very excited about that one. And I found this pink t-shirt. Again, you can tell it's like good quality, thick material, but because it's cotton, it's still going to be really breathable. It's not going to feel like hot and heavy, um, which I really like. And this is Kim Rogers, which again, I know that brand, but I, I'm not sure why I know them. <laughs> um, yeah, pink, which is kind of unlike me. I always said I hated pink and my mom's been making fun of me that I've started liking pink. And I think it's just because of Phoebe, my baby girl, like, I don't know a lot of baby clothes are pink so then she ends up having a lot of pink clothes and then I want to like have pink clothes to match her. <sighs> yeah. Um, next is this green t-shirt which is super long. Um, it's got like a scallop, um, scalloped hem so what am I saying? It is like it makes a U um, and I got this primarily to wear over leggings. Not that I wear leggings very much, but um, when I do, it's I like to have long shirts because I think it's more flattering um, than wearing a short shirt with leggings. And I love this color, so I always keep my eye out in the thrift store for this um, type of green. Again, 100% cotton. And then along with green, I found this green tank top, which I really like this. Um, again, it's 100% cotton. It's just a nice ba basic tank top. Um, it's actually Pima cotton, which I'm not sure what that is, but I feel like it's like extra fancy cotton. I could be making that up. I have no idea. This brand is J. Jill, which I see a lot of in the thrift store, but I have no idea anything about them. This is an All Saints shirt. Um, I, yeah, I have no idea how much this was originally, but I know that All Saints is not cheap. Um, it is, I believe it's got some linen in it. Yeah, so it's 75% cotton, 25% linen, and I really like linen pieces. I think they fall really flatter, flatteringly, and um, I like that they almost have like a bit of texture to them. Um, I'm not crazy about v-necks on me. I, I don't know, they might be flattering or not, but I just think they don't, they look kind of weird on me. But, I mean, it's an all same shirt and it's got linen and cotton, so that's all, you know, that's all I need. <laughs> um, then this is another white tank top, but this is made with hemp, which, like, Using hemp for clothing is like a new thing. Um, my mom got my husband a shirt made out of hemp. Um, I feel like it's the granola thing, but I never thought I'd find a hemp shirt at the thrift store. So I kind of had to buy it for that reason. <laughs> but I do, I really like it. It's got like almost like a linen um, like quality. I think it, 
don't think it's 100% hemp. Let's see, what does it say? 55% hemp, 45% cotton. So, yeah, just another, like, neutral, basic, but it's, like, perfect for, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I kind of got this one thinking for my mom that she would like it, but then I really liked it, so I just decided to keep it. <laughs> um, so... The last two things that I got that that thrift store, which was Goodwill, are shorts. So I found these PacSun mom jeans, um, which fit me perfectly. Goodwill still has its um, dressing rooms, like you can't use the dressing rooms. And so it kind of makes pants risky. Like shirts, I feel like you can kind of look at and be like, okay, yeah, that'll fit me. But um, I just kind of took a risk and <laughs> these ended up fitting me perfectly. Um, so I'm very happy with those because I love the mom jean style. And then I found these, which are Old Navy. And I actually have these in black. And I, at the time, really wanted to buy this color as well. But I talked myself out of it because I was paying full price and I like to save money. But I found them in the thrift store and I feel like that hardly ever happens where, you know, you're thinking of buying something in the regular store and then you find it in the thrift store like months later. I think it was last year I bought these. Um, they are a medium, which I think the ones I have are small, but I tried on the medium and I knew that they fit me. So I was like, hey, I'm going for it. They're just a couple bucks and I love this color. Um, they are also linen and cotton, I believe, the exact percentage, 55% linen. So, yeah, exciting. Um, that was everything that I got at Goodwill. And then I went to a local thrift store and I found a Eddie Bauer t-shirt, um, just a plain white tee, which... You know, always need one of those. It looks like really good condition. I feel like whoever owned it previously never wore it. Um, but yeah, really nice. Super excited about that. And um, at that same thrift store, I was looking for Daniel, which it's kind of hard sometimes to find stuff for Daniel in thrift stores. So my idea was if it didn't work for him, maybe it would work for me as kind of like an oversized shirt. But I found this and I really like the color and I knew that Daniel would like the sort of rustic quality. Um, it has a dry cleaning sticker from 2003 on it, which is kind of fun. Um, we couldn't get it off, so <laughs> hopefully we, with a little more effort, we'll be able to get it off. But it actually fits Daniel, which is amazing. Um, the sleeves are like a teeny tiny bit too short, but overall, the thrift store, I think it was a dollar. It's perfect. And then this flannel I found in the men's section and I actually bought it for me, but Daniel tried it on and it fit him and he really likes it. So we'll probably share it. Um, but I just thought it was kind of different and unique. The colors are not just like your standard flannel colors and really liked it. It was really cool. Um, so yeah, always a plus when you can share with your husband. And then let's see, I went to another different local thrift store and uh, hit the jackpot with outerwear. So I found this yellow jacket which yeah I'm just really into yellow right now this is kind of I feel like a statement piece it's a subtle statement but it's a statement piece but I just think it's cool it's like a bomber jacket style and I was hesitating because I wasn't sure if this was the type of thing that I'd buy and then never actually wear but uh, my mom talked me into it, so I'm gonna wear it. I've like set up my mind to wear it and um, you can kind of look at the label and see that it's it's old school. 
Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was cool. I'm gonna try, try make it work, make it cool. Um, I wanted like a basic light jacket. So I found this black like zip up hoodie. It's lightweight, it's really comfortable. Um, I mean, there's nothing super special about this, but I just wanted like, not like a, just a light jacket. I don't have any light jackets. Um, I have like winter coats and I have like summer clothes. So I feel like for fall, I needed something like an extra layer to just throw on. So I found this one. And I also found a cashmere sweater with Scottish wool made in Scotland. No, Scottish wool, Scottish cashmere. <laughs> I was so excited. Okay. This I, cashmere I feel is like silk. It's very rare to find in the thrift store. And I love this color. I'm very into neutrals and creams right now. And uh, yeah. I just thought this is a really awesome sweater that it's going to be really great when it starts to get a little cooler. Um, and also in that same thrift store, I found this like powder blue um, quarter zip and uh, it's a little big so I have to roll up the arms, but I kind of like it being long. It makes it feel a little bit cozier and it's so soft on the inside. Again, I feel like whoever owned this before never wore it like it, it feels brand new basically um so i'm very excited about this don't own anything like it um and yeah all these were 350 each so that's i mean that's cheap but i like when i'm thrifting i really try to like, find a deal um so it's like a little bit on the pricier side for thrifting, but I needed some stuff for fall. So I went and got it. And then the last one is more of a true winter jacket. Um, I found this in the men's section at Goodwill a couple weeks ago, actually. And it had um, embroidery on it that said like Bryant Pharmacy and Supply. <laughs> So I wasn't exactly like wanting to rep that. So I've been unpicking it. I'm nearly done, but I didn't quite finish in time for this video. But this is just an awesome jacket. Um, I love the color. It's super, it feels like super good quality, nice and thick. It's got a great lining. Um, yeah, it's just a good jacket. Um, it's kind of oversized, but it doesn't look too big in my opinion. Um, yeah. So I have a mug problem and Daniel tells me all the time that I'm not allowed to buy any more mugs, but sometimes mugs just like speak to me and they tell me that I can't go home without them. So when that happens, I have to buy them. Uh, so I found this mug and I just thought it was really sweet. I love the little painted flowers and the blue rim and the cream color and it was 57 cents. So, you know, I couldn't leave it behind. Um, so I got that one and then this one's really cool. Anything that kind of looks like pottery or, um, like an earthy tones, I also can't leave behind. Uh, so yeah, this one was 67 cents, which is pretty cool. And then I found the jackpot. Daniel has wanted a winter mug as long as I've known him. And I found not one, but two winter mugs. And so I had to buy both of them. Um, they're super cool. They're like look like pottery but i'm not sure they might not be um but daniel's always wanted this style where it like starts big and then gets super small so that in the winter it keeps your warm beverage really warm it looked like someone used them as display pieces or something before because they had this like foamy stuff on them but i think we'll be able to take that off and use them as mugs 
So very happy with that. And then lastly, I went to Once Upon a Child to find some things for Phoebe for our trip. And um, yeah, I just love thrifting. It's like a treasure hunt. Um, and <laughs> the cool thing with kids clothes though is they grow so quickly that a lot of stuff is like, it feels brand new um, because they wear it for such a short amount of time. So I'll start with shoes. I found these <laughs> sweet little sandals. Um, and when it comes to secondhand shoes, I already give them a good look through and make sure they don't look too worn so that it's, you know, when you put your shoe in someone else's, your shoe in someone else's shoe, when you put your foot in someone else's shoe and you can kind of like tell where their foot was. Um, yeah, I don't like that. So I don't ever buy secondhand shoes for me, but I figure for her, kids' feet grow so quickly. And so I, I really look at them and see if there's any wear. And there wasn't this these like brown marks that are by the toe are from her because she's already worn them and has been running around in them. Um, and she really likes these shoes. So I think that was a good find. And then I found these little white moccasins, which she has the moccasins that she wears now and they're brown, but um, she's growing out of them. And I like them because they're like super flexible and um, they're not cumbersome because she's a good walker, but I feel like sometimes those thick shoe, soles on shoes can kind of trip up um, little kids. So these are kind of nice because it's basically barefoot, but with a little bit of protection. Um, so these will get absolutely destroyed because I don't think they're really meant for like tough outdoor walking, but that's okay because they were $1.50 and um, yeah, she'll go through, through many shoes in her life. And then I found these. They're so cute. Um, these are a size too big for her right now. So I don't even know like if she'll be able to wear these when her, I don't know if when her foot is the size, if it will be like warm <laughs> with her. I have no idea, but they were so cute. I couldn't leave them behind. I just love these pastel like retro sandals. Blah. They're so cute. So I had to buy her this. Um, then in terms of clothes, I got two pairs of shorts for her. I got this pink pair, which has this really cute frill down at the bottom. And um, yeah, she doesn't have a lot of shorts. She has a lot of like legging pants, but um, not a lot of shorts. And most of her clothes are pink, I feel like, or go with pink. So pink shorts will match basically everything she owns. Um, and then I found these like army green shorts, which are so cute. Um, again, I think that these are good, like basic shorts that will match a lot of her current clothes. Um, so yeah, I think these will go really well with all her stuff. And then I found her three onesies, this sweet polka dot blue one, which um, she needed a couple more of these in bigger sizes because she's outgrowing the ones that she has. Um, so, uh, this looked like basically new, which is one of the reasons why I got it. And I like the color. And then I found this one, which is really sweet, uh, pink and blue and yellow flowers. And again, it was, it felt like it was basically new. So, um, got her that one. And then this is my favorite. It's like an off-white cream and it's got this ribbed effect and I just think this is so cool. I think she'll look so cute and so trendy like this with the green shorts. Ah! So cute. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, she's gonna look like a stylish baby. And this one's organic cotton, so nothing but the best. And I think that is everything that I bought. Um, yeah, I don't normally buy this much when I go thrifting. It just so happened that um, I had a lot of success recently. And so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. 
and um, feel free to check out some of my other videos. I normally film daily vlogs where I document my family's life and just what we get up to um, and all our travels. Thanks for watching. Bye. Baby, pick a mama. Can you spin? Like this, babe. Can you spin?